Hello everybody, welcome back to the Mark II build. Today's problem is we haven't actually got any connection between the pedal, the accelerator pedal in the car, and the carburetors in the engine bay. So these carburetors would probably have been cable operated in their donor vehicle shall we say um, so I've got a choice to make do I convert the car to cable operated throttle linkage or do I convert the carburetor linkage to rod and lever pedal arrangement that we've got and I've decided to do the latter because you know there's nothing wrong with the pedal setup all works fine as in any setup like this I suppose what we've got is we've got a, a pedal shaft that's turning in this direction and our throttle shaft is coming in and needs to turn in that direction so I need to come up with something that's gonna convert this rotation into this rotation and do it so as we get full throttle when our pedals right to the floor okay so the only thing I've got that would be any use at all was the throttle bracket off of this engine which as you can see has got the same carbs as the one we're working on so I'll see you on the bench and you can see this throttle bracket being modified so this is what I started off with. Now this would bolt to my inlet manifold here and here. Uh, but the problem is, is this is way too wide and this side's damn near hitting the bulkhead. So this shaft here operates the carburettors. And that's what I like about using this is this hole here and this distance from here to here is is exactly right for the carburetors I've got but it's no use as it is so what I started to do was break down what was no good to me and to try and make it useful in this application so I've shortened the shaft I've cut this down so that I can move this away from the bulkhead and give me some room for the levers and linkages to work and then this is in the wrong orientation so I've got rid of that that and all the other extra jazz that's no good to us and just broke it down into the bits that are what I done is I, I slid that along and marked the holes through from the other side. I've transposed those fixing holes over to here. So that's basically where we're up to. So I can show you this on the car now and move on to the next step. So after hitting a bit of a brick wall as to what to do next, I uh, had a look at some other linkage setups on some of your videos out there and the one thing that they all seem to have in common was somewhere they had a cranked operating lever which seemed to make the magic work so after just playing around with this piece of angle the first thing I realized was for this to work as I want it to with everything all at this end is this was going to have to be up out the way up here otherwise everything was just going to collide with everything um, so after I went back to the bench to scratch my head I realized I actually had one of these cranks uh, stare me in the face so 
this is what we cut off earlier that went there but it was in the wrong orientation so I thought it would be interesting to see if that would work in this orientation which is gets it up out the way where we want it to be and with a bit of strategically bent tent peg I started to get the operation I was looking for now that's nearly half the problem solved if we can get the pedal to operate the other end but first I'm going to weld this onto this bracket and then we can start thinking about connecting the other side of it. bring you in here because I got to take it off and take it all apart again so long story short we've got the action we're looking for um, turns out I had to extend the original pedal shaft bracket I just uh, just a bit because what was happening was when I got my quarter turn that I need on the carburetors the pedal was only halfway on its way down on its travel so 
probably bring in the connection point up slightly we got the action and we got the throw of what we need um, I've got this carburetor here so if you don't know this is what's going on behind the scenes um, so we're looking for just under a quarter of a turn I'd say um, and that's going on in here so as long as I've got a quarter of a turn on this one or when all said and done or sorry on this one then I know I'm going to get my full throttle and we've got we've got that in abundance so the temp pegs are just mock-ups we'll change them out for threaded rod and ends and couplers and whatnot um, you can see there's a bit of black shade in there that needs to be relieved because just as the pedal starts to hit the floor it it's fouling on this rod so that needs taken out and I also need to run a bracket off of here over as far as I can go um, to pin back the throttle return spring um, and I think if I do that and I finish welding it uh, uh, you saw me start to put that in as a brace because I knew that you know we were going to be taking chunks out of it but apart from that we're doing pretty good so hopefully next time you see it we should be at the very least making up the finished rods for the finished job okay so another afternoon later and probably the main difference that you'll notice is we've got a strengthening piece if you like um, I was able to get the stud out of the inlet manifold and I'm able to use that as another fixing so by putting this plate in here it was a win-win-win because it supported this that was floating in the wind it supported the throttle return spring bracket and it's given me another fixing so you know we basically put that piece back in um, center punched up this shaft to give the uh, actuator something to grip on also the old Meccano cog wheel had to take one for the team um, he's donated this bush so we've got a proper bearing surface there now instead of a tatty rubber grommet and the rods are just M5 plain stud with rose jointed ends I think we're ready to fit it on the car now so uh, let me get on with that okay then so she's all connected up uh, I think it only remains for me to start her up and let's see if it works Okay then guys, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.